What is it? Why is it? Can I do it? Why not? How long is it? Because I have something in about an hour I just can't miss. Why isn't it better? All questions humanity has asked for centuries without knowing the answer to, until today. Hi, my name is Xander, and your life is about to change for the better. Hi, how are we doing? How are you doing? Specifically you, I'd like to know. Recently, I have been watching a ton of art analysis slash art history videos on YouTube. There are just a ton of like three hour long documentary style videos about artists and art styles and art history and art like um, in general, basically, just art in general. But a through line I've noticed with all of these videos is that everyone who's making these videos and who's in these videos seems to know what they're talking about really, really well. They seem really educated. They seem to have read up on the art they're talking about to an extreme degree. They seem to be almost artists themselves. Artists whose chosen medium is knowledge. And I'd like to change that here, now, today. I am here to make an in-depth art analysis video as someone who simply knows nothing about art. So strap in, buckle up, keep all arms and legs inside the ride as we dive headfirst into the most well-known and impactful art of the Renaissance era, no relation, to Queen B. <laughs> We begin with Annunciation by Leonardo da Vinci. Let's look at the painting itself and see what we can decipher. We seem to have an angel who's on one knee, which culturally we can assume this angel is proposing. I don't see a ring anywhere. Maybe the angel's cheap. And then on the right, we have this woman. She seems to be reading a book that's being held up by like one of those things you can clip to the front of your car that you can put your phone onto. Maybe it's the Bible. Maybe, did a book other than the Bible exist? For, I feel like the Bible was the only book for a long time. There's actually no way to tell what book this is. It could very much so well be Michelle Obama's Becoming. I'm gonna assume it's Michelle Obama's Becoming. There's no way to really know. Okay, but the woman has a halo too. So, okay, so listen to this. Get ready to learn. The woman has like a halo above her head, which for this Renaissance era of art implies that she is a holy person, like a person of God. Could she be the Virgin Mary? She seems to be like Anya Taylor-Joy type beat. I feel like Anya Taylor-Joy would play her. But it's called the Annunciation. So like, what is that implying? Maybe she's reading and she's gotten to a very long word that she can't enunciate very well. And so this angel, who we once thought was proposing, but as art historians, we're willing to learn and evolve. This angel is really trying his best to help this woman, Anya Taylor-Joy, enunciate this word, but she simply can't, which has got this angel so annoyed, so pestered, that he's fallen to his knee and he's like, Anya, Anya, listen, listen to me. I'm listening. It's Anamadapia. I said it right the first time. Antamantapita. No. An Anna? Look at my lips. Look at my lips. Anna? Antamanta Taylor Joy. No. Anamadapia. Anisantetacumpo. Anamadapia. Anstimben. On main. Onomatopoeia. Honest on main. Post on main. Horny on main. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself. Celibate on main? We've all been the angel. We've all been Anya. And that's the joy of art. It's relatable. And honey, that angel looks over it. Honey, that angel is so over it. He might as well be me on a Monday without my damn coffee. Honey, honey darling. Hey, honey, darling, me on a Monday without my coffee? I'm gonna go ahead and be on one knee. I'm gonna go ahead and be like, just like this angel, Donnie. Hardy darling, baby. Doni Tondo by Michelangelo Buonarotti. Buonarotti. Now this is a circular painting, which is so wonderful. And it's really, it's breaking the idea of what a painting can be. Because we all picture a painting and we say, oh, square, rectangle, four sides. No, no, no. Michelangelo Buonarotti decided that a painting can be a circle. He was already thinking profound file picture mindset, you know what I mean? And that's so smart and ahead of his time for Michelangelo Bordoni. Now, which one's Doni? Doni? It's D-O-N-I. Doni Tondo. Which one's Doni Tondo? Is it the baby, the old man, or like the person in the middle? I'm assuming the person sitting down in the middle is Doni Tondo, unless they're all Doni Tondo. Wait a second. That's Donny Tondo as a baby. That's Donny Tondo in the present. And that's Donny Tondo in the future as an old man. This is the original Christmas story. We have the ghosts of Donny Tondo, past, present, and future, all together for one gorgeous painting. And then we have like a bunch of naked people in the background, which I don't feel like I need to get into that. Sometimes artists are just heathens who paint naked people for fun. Not everything means something in art, by the way. Assumption of Virgin by Titian. Titian. Titian? Titian. Titian. 
Who the hell is that? Oh, now this painting, this one's really important, this one. So we have a lot of people, a lot of people in this painting. Most of them are cherubs. You know, little tiny baby angels flying amidst the, the chaos of the scene. What do cherubs represent? They represent youth, innocence, childhood. This is a painting about childhood at the end of the day. We kind of have three layers to this painting. We have a layer of people at the bottom. These are all the men. Boo! Boo men. They're all reaching up and grasping and grabbing for this woman in the middle tier. This woman, I'm assuming, is the Virgin Mary because I think that's the only woman in any Renaissance painting there's ever been. And all of these human men are reaching for Mary and they're saying, Mary, Mary, we, we wanna kiss ya, we wanna kiss ya, Mary. And all of these cherubs are representing her innocence, her youth. They're saying, no, men, back the hell off. She's saving her virginity for God. And then you look up at that top tier and that's gonna be God sitting at the top. And God's looking down at Mary and he's saying, come on, you know the deed's fire. Who are you gonna choose? Immaculate conception or those gross, dirty men down on earth? But we must acknowledge what this painting is titled and that's gonna be Assumption of a Virgin. The Virgin Mary is assuming something. What is she assuming? Based on the look on God's face, it seems like Mary assumed that God was too old to have children. Maybe she was saying, oh, sorry, God. I, I assumed you probably weren't able to have kids. And, and then God was like, why'd you assume that? Why'd you, why'd you think that? I'm I'm perfectly capable of having children. And then Mary's like, I, I I know you are. That's fine. But like, I don't know. Like, I just assumed like I, if I wanted a child, I'd have to ask one of these earthly men. And then God was like, Okay, fine. So when I'm old, I'm old, right? I'm just old. I'm stupid and old, and I should die. And then Mary's like, No, God, you always do this. You always make yourself the victim. And God's like, I'm not the victim. You're being a bitch. And then Mary's like, Whoa, no need to call me a bitch, God. And God's like, Sorry, I didn't mean to call you a bitch or anything. But like, I can have kids, and you're gonna have my kid, by the way. And she goes, Fine, I'll have your kid. And then God's like, Good, and it's gonna be fine. And Mary says, Good. And that's the Assumption of Virgin. Virgin of the Rocks by Leonardo da Vinci. A lot of virgins. Why? Virgin of the Rocks. This is a painting, I'm assuming the virgin is the woman in blue. Is that also the Virgin Mary? Was there only one virgin and was she Mary? I'm assuming that this is not gonna be the Virgin Mary. I'm sick of her ass. She's in every goddamn painting we've talked about so far. How about this is just another random virgin? How about this is the Virgin Ethel? A lot of people are virgins, Mary. That's not special, you're not cool. So Ethel is like kneeling down with two babies and then this other woman. But if she's a virgin, then whose babies are these? Is it the other woman's babies? I don't know, that other woman looks like a virgin too. She's giving me virgin vibes as well. Maybe they kidnapped them. Maybe these two women are virgin lesbians who wanted to have children but couldn't because they're both virgins and lesbians. So they kidnapped these two babies and brought them to these rocks. And these two babies seem to be fighting because this baby's like, please, please other baby. I want to stay with these lesbians. They're so much nicer than our real parents. And then the other baby's like, dude, we have to go back. Our other parents love us and they miss us. And the other baby's like, dude, let us stay with the lesbians. And then the lesbians are like, aw, like Look at them. Look at these babies we kidnapped and brought to these rocks. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. This is a very, very famous one. About Jesus eating the Last Supper right before he died, right before he was crucified. What is there to say about this painting that already hasn't been said? Well, I mean, let's really look into the details. Now, what not a lot of people know about this painting is that it was taken right when Jesus passed gas. It makes sense when you look at all the faces of the disciples. The disciples at the left end of the table are like, Jesus, ew, gross. The ones on the right are like, oh my god, Jesus, did you fart? And then the other two disciples next to him are like, dude, you can't say that to him, he's Jesus. And he's like, but he farted. And he's like, dude, shut up. The ones right next to Jesus on his right are like, dude, ew. The ones next to Jesus on his left are like, it actually smells kind of good. I mean, it's Jesus. It smells kind of beautiful, actually. Most people, they fart, it smells bad. Jesus farts, it smells kind of like lavender a little bit. They're like, is that, is that ambergris? Is that... Oh my gosh, is that citrus? That's a citrus. Jesus, you class act. You thought you knew everything about that painting, didn't you? You thought you did. Look at me teaching you things. And Leonardo actually ran out of paint. When he was painting it, he was like, all right, everyone hold still. And he started painting it and then Jesus farted. And he was like, Jesus, I don't have enough paint to start over. We have to just make this you farting. It's like the equivalent of blinking when someone takes a photo, but I guess it's like a film camera and they only have one film. Moving on. Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Another very famous, famous painting. Now in this one, Leonardo was the one that farted. Unfortunately, and I'm sorry to say fart so much, but this is just history. This is just fact. Everyone notes Mona Lisa's slight smile. Well, that's because Leonardo passed gas. He took note from Jesus. He was like, Mona, please perfectly still, straight faced for this portrait. Mona said, okay, I can do that. And she sat there and then Leonardo passed gas and she went. <laughs> 
And Leonardo's like, what? What's so funny? And Mona's like, nothing, nothing's, nothing's, nothing's funny. And Leonardo's like, no one farted, by the way, just in case you thought. And Mona's like, no, I didn't think anyone did. And Leonardo's like, good, so stay still. And Mona's like, okay, I will. And then Leonardo, oh, like, oh my God. Leonardo's like, oh my God, shut the hell up. Stop laughing at me. And Mona's like, I'm not laughing at you, Leonardo. But like, you farted. That's like funny. That's how we got the classic Mona Lisa today. The Birth of Venus by Sandro Botticelli. I apologize if this is a stupid question, but was Venus born a grown woman? And if so, why? I'm assuming the woman in the middle is Venus, and she seems to be being born out of the ocean. She's like surfing on this giant shell, and she's being blown with the wind by this winged man who's like going like <sighs> And that man is also carrying a woman. Oh my God. What if we just like painted some flowers or like something fun? Like why are all these paintings insane? Venus seems to be a hindrance to literally everyone around her from literally the second she was created. She's stuck in the middle of the ocean and this man and this woman have to blow her to the shore to which she arrives butt naked. And everyone on shore has to be like, oh my God, put some clothes on. Basically Venus can't do anything for herself and she's a grown woman, so. That's shameful. The Sistine Madonna by Raphael. That's the Virgin Mary. And then who's that guy? And then why do we have these two angels? Oh, they're so gay. Those are the gayest angels, sorry. They're the gayest angels I've ever, like one of them's rolling his eyes and he's like, gosh, what's going on? Virgin Mary, ha, huh, I hardly believe it. And then the other angel's like, well, if she's a virgin, then I'm a natural blonde. <laughs> and so basically I'm assuming the woman in the middle is Virgin Mary holding the baby Jesus, who is huge. That is a huge ass baby. My apologies to Mary, that must have been insanely painful. We have this balding guy who's like, oh, it's Jesus. And then we have Madonna over here going, lack of virgin, lack of virgin, touched for the very first time. And then Mary's like, oh my gosh, that's so fitting. Cause I'm a virgin, I'm the Virgin Mary. And then Madonna's like, ow, ow. You know how Madonna is? The Virgin and Child with Saint Anne by Leonardo da Vinci. Oh my God. It looks like the baby Jesus is strangling a baby sheep or at least attacking. And of course the Virgin Mary is like, no, Jesus, don't do that. She's reaching out for Jesus. But then Saint Anne is like holding the Virgin Mary back. Like, no, 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 let him do it, let him do it. This is sick. This is making my stomach churn, my stomach boil. I never knew that Jesus did this. Or maybe the baby Jesus is trying to ride the sheep because he also has his leg wrapped around its neck, unaware of the fact that he's a huge ass baby and the sheep cannot handle him. And while the Virgin Mary is like, oh, come on, don't ride the sheep. Saint Anne is like, let him try, see what happens. Saint Anne wants that sheep dead. Don't know what that sheep did to Saint Anne, but hot damn, that is scary, that is violent. Didn't know that the baby Jesus had that in him, unfortunately. Lady with an air mine by Leonardo da Vinci. And this is just gonna be a woman holding a ferret. The ferret probably symbolizes something, right? Many of these paintings have metaphors within them, right? There's like a dog, but the dog represents the economy or whatever the fuck. And there's like a tree, but the tree represents heaven and then like the grass is hell or something. I'm assuming this ferret is a metaphor for a child. Cause here's the thing, women shouldn't have to have children if they don't want to. But this is an era, this is a time where women are having children out the wazoo, all women. Think of all the paintings we've seen so far. Almost every woman is holding a baby. Even the virgins in these paintings are having children. You know what I mean? So God forbid a woman wants to have a ferret and tie her hair around her head and wear two headbands and kind of look towards the, um, um, like to her left. You know what I mean? And Leonardo da Vinci was tuned into that. And I appreciate him for that. And I respect him for that. Adoration of the Magi by Leonardo da Vinci. All of these paintings are just of Jesus. What about other people? Did other people exist at this time? So at the center, we have the Virgin Mary holding the baby Jesus and all these people are surrounding because they all wanna see Jesus basically. Maybe Jesus is performing his tight five. Maybe that's why everyone else in this painting is on their hands and knees because they're laughing so hard because Jesus is cracking such great jokes. He's like, hey, what's the deal? With mangers. You spend nine months in the womb and, and you get out expecting a nice lovely crib and you gotta lay in a bunch of hay? What's the deal with that? And everyone's like, oh, Jesus. So true. So true, Jesus. The Jerry Seinfeld of his time, really, Jesus Christ was. The Wedding at Cana by Paolo Veronese. Oh, there are so many people in this painting. Oh, is that Jesus in the middle? All of these paintings have Jesus in it. Find a different guy to paint, holy hell. It looks like all of these people are like fighting for Jesus's like attention and praise. Like it looks like Jesus and the Virgin Mary just wanted to have like a nice lunch out. They didn't want to be bothered. They just wanted to go and grab 
grab some lunch. They knew they were celebrities, but they're like, I just want to go have like a nice lunch, just the two of us. And then the second they got there, everyone's like, oh my God, that's Jesus. Oh my God, that's the Virgin Mary. And like ran over. And they're like, can we sit with you? Can we sit with you? And then Jesus was like, whatever, fine, whatever. Cause he can't be mean. He's Jesus. He can't be like, no, go away. He's Jesus. He has to be like, yes. Cause that's like his whole thing. And so we've got people playing the violin and the cello in front of him. And we've got people hanging from the tops of the building. And Jesus is like, ugh, can I just have one day? One day where I can be normal. This painting really encapsulates that feeling that Jesus had, just like we all had at some point, I'm sure, that we just all want to be a normal girl, you know, at the end of the day. I feel like Jesus would really relate to 16 Carriages by Beyonce. I feel like that song is very Jesus coded in a way. Well, those are all the paintings. That was every painting from the Renaissance era. I hope we all learned something here today. I really do. You know, art, we can't live without it. It's a very special thing. And everyone says, oh, art, it's, well, it has all the stuff, all the stuff, but you say, what if, what if not? And that's my two cents on the matter. If you learned something today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I make videos on this YouTube channel and I'm sure you'd want to see them. So hit that button, hit that little button, girly girl. Do it. Be bad, honey darling, be bad. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. And remember, without art, nothing in the world is even can even was the time forever. Goodbye!